I chose GIS mainly because it's an AP class and it's self-based, so I'll be able to teach myself and learn on my own. Teach himself, learn on his own. The dark green areas, drill income levels. Self-starting senior Jalen McNeil. It's a whole map of Harford County. Uses maps and stats in his GIS capstone project. GIS stands for Geographic Information Systems, and it marries technologies to measure outcomes. I can make any kind of map. I can make a map of the world, a 3D map. I can do everything. The cool thing about GIS is not only are the students making maps, but they're also using other information. They're doing an analysis piece. So it's not just about making a map, but it's showing where does crime happen, where is the density of the crime. Right now, I'm inserting a different uh, data frames. And it's not just crime. I'm color coding buildings and digitizing uh, Joptown High School. It could be uh, socioeconomics, it could be where the schools are, populations, all kinds of things. In their case, Jalen and his partner are comparing income levels to school ratings. Today I'm making a map of Harford County showing income census levels and school ratings to compare the two to see if low-level schools have low-level incomes. The green is for school ratings that were level five. Math helps a bunch. We use math for the scales and for the routings and the measurements. Everything has to be exact. Exact. These capstone projects introduce students to skills that have market value. Every municipality has a GIS department, uh, counties, states. It's a very big field right now. So I'm going to be a photographer. So I plan on using that to take radio images. I can create maps to find locations like Last year I made a historical landmarks map and I was able to take pictures of historical landmarks and actually input them into the map. Jalen's photography has other creative outlets. Portrait photographers, landscape, I do everything, events. I'm an AP Studio Arts student and GIS and AP Studio Arts come in hand. They're both AP, they're both a lot of work. And that, what I'm going to bet happened is that He credits teacher E. Bohr for the work ethic she's in gender. Ms. Bohr, she motivates us and keep pushing us to stay on task how to get working on time and fully complete it because in the real world I can't send in half done work or uncompleted anything. When the real world rolls around and it's coming fast, Jalen wants to be ready.